Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doc. Welcome back to the Master Portal Quest. Tonight we are playing a Portal Stories Mel, which may span over two episodes. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, as uh, some would agree, this is probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, mod out there. I guess it's debatable, but uh, definitely in comparison to the last two we played, um, it's definitely well above those. Um, I just want to apologize for like the last two mods that I have played. Um, if it kind of feels like I wasn't really in them as much um, as I maybe could have been. It's, it's kind of hard when I've already played through a mod because I kind of know what to expect and I know how the game is as such. So if uh, anybody feels that I wasn't really kind of like fully committed to like those two or this one even uh, that I play through um, as a playthrough Mel, uh, I do apologize. But I do honestly think that is because I have played them before. We're going to be playing through the advanced mode. Um, the way it was originally meant to be played and not story mode, the slightly nerfed mode for people who aren't so familiar with Portal 2. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let us jump in and start some Portal Stories Mel. Good old Aperture Science. I always, I always remember like the first time I ever played this game, and I was just blown away by like this underground city that they kind of like underground town that they'd created. It was just fantastic. I hope everybody on the stream is good. I hope you all had a good weekend. Hope you're keeping well and keeping safe. Also, this kind of reminds me of um, it reminds me very much of um, Black Mesa. I'm assuming they took some some sort of inspiration from Black Mesa's. Uh, sorry, Half-Life's intro. My name's Cave Johnson, and boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. Yeah, it's it definitely got a very fantastic soundtrack as well, T. I'd agree with you there, definitely. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing, which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait, where are we again? Uh, okay, so, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're going to put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Totally agree to you about the music. The music is fantastic. Mika, what's going on? Welcome along. I am doing fantastic. Hope you are as well. Hope you had a great weekend. We're going to just enjoy some jazz here as we roll into the station. Could do a turn it up a bit though. All right. You're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. Station. Chris, get out of here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Pack your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> All right, we have arrived. Yeah, very Half-Life introduction there, which is um, quite a nice little touch. Mikey, what's going on, yellow belly buddy? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. How the devil are you? Just listen to some jazz. Go on, Megist. Oh, 
Feeling uh, a little bit of a fever, feeling numb and tired. Let me get better soon, Mika. <laughs> you see, I don't have to worry about that because I don't live in a Virgin Media uh, enabled area. <laughs> I never looked at these before. Look at these, look. Caffeinated decaf. <laughs> Got a new PC? Nice. Nice. It, uh, the Cola machines are, are awesome. They look really nice in this. It reminds me of the uh, the Perk Cola machines in um, Call of Duty Zombies. <laughs> I can't believe that they put the uh, Citranium in here. All right. Anyway, let's uh, head on out into the town. Do you great to try on master mode with another streamer? I don't really know a lot about Terraria. I, I played it briefly, like years ago. But um, that oh, soundscape changed. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. A sleep easy motel. There's an e there is an Easter egg. What? So yeah, like I say, I always remember playing this for the first time and like being absolutely blown away by the, like this on like this town, sort of on the top, and there's like a whole another part to it underground as well. So um, yeah. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> hey, Carolyn. Head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. Yo, Camerson, what's going on? Hope you're well. You got some fancy DJ emotes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Apsha's vision of the future look right here. Pretty cool. I I really I haven't didn't really take a lot of all this on board. I'll be honest, when the first time I played, so it's cool to replay it and like take it all on board now. Hey there's people working. even hear the clock ticking. Do you know what? I thought that was like Space Oddity playing there. That's why I went back. I couldn't make out if it was Space Oddity or Star Wars. I know. I, I was looking at that when I set up the stream and I was putting the game in. I, I, it's like VR trumps normal, genuine like not genuine, normal sort of like every everybody else is gonna play. I didn't quite get that myself, to be fair, Megis. And now we get long elevator ride. See the uh, eye candy. Very slow start to the mod, definitely. You're gonna make a streamer drink apple cider vinegar? 
Yes. Why on earth are you going to do that? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's party in the elevator. Doom, 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 doom. Maybe not. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovators Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to. They have that for 12,500 points on their channel as a redemption. Those guys kiss my. The bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here. And I hire and fire as I please. It'd be pretty cool with like some of these NPCs is like they turn around and sort of like looked at you as you was like going down here. Be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovators Short Term Relaxation Vault. Not sure I'd want to be drinking apple cider vinegar. A little bit sour for my liking. For sure. Please keep your legs inside the elevator. But I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I mean, I can understand like drinking apple cider, but apple cider vinegar. Should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes, an hour at most, if something goes wrong. Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. Science is the winner. I'm not the winner. Science is always the winner. Apparently the bottom flange is cracked. Can someone get onto that for us, please? Thank you. Yes, we are playing in advanced mode, Mika. Uh, I played the day it was released way back when and um originally there was only advanced mode um and then they added in story mode which is like a nerfed version for people who weren't as experienced uh with portal 2 so yeah advanced mode is definitely better on the last pre-recorded message you'll be heading into an aperture science innovators short-term relaxation vault for a quick deep sleep and then you're done that's why we brought you here at night you're most likely a walking zombie oh yeah um, as you can see. I am most definitely a walking zombie, as you can see me jumping around. I love this. Put me a, put me a tune on. Smooth jazz, man. Gotta love that for smooth jazz. Available now. I always feel like that's just been like stuck over the top of something, but why Why would they... I don't understand. Why, why would there be a trophy for something like that? It makes me chuckle. Yeah. Lab boys will take care of the rest, even though there's nobody around and the door is shut behind me. <laughs> Logic. Good night. Mel's got some uh, nice red painted nails there. 
They look pretty. Alrighty then. No. You get the impression something went wrong. Aperture. Aperture. I love that Aperture logo. It's so like 70s, 80s kind is of the, feeling. Is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right. You can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry, though. We got shot. Okay. Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out there. Just head out the chamber. Yeah. Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long haul boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long haul boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Whee! Yeah, everything's done did broke. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the The portal gun is so cool. It's not hazardous, it just looks like it's gonna about to blow up as you pick it up. Is it on spy fight? I don't know, Mika. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built the building like this. I don't know if it is or not. Uh, I know it's uh, about that. it's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spheres in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I know it's on. Uh, I was the, the full playlist is on uh, YouTube. Don't mind all this too. We just had uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Download every soundtrack from Harry's playlist and put it in your storage. Oh, okay. I don't really use Spotify and stuff a lot, to be fair. Um, These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. I am. Um, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. All right, so the earthquakes kind of did some redecorating in here. Destroyed the door too. You'll have to find another way out. Return right, Um, I can't remember what I was going to say now. I already use a lot of music streaming portals these days. I just tend to use, um, I just have a playlist of OSTs in uh, on YouTube that I tend to use if I want to listen to music. Either that or I've got a massive folder of like all my DJ mixes and stuff and some from other DJs as well that I listen to, so. There's gotta be something you can use to launch yourself over the door. There has to be another way out. There has to be another way. There is. Uh, isn't it here? Yes. Uh, there's a way to jump down, isn't there? I'm sure that's what I need to do. If I remember rightly. Imagine if Valve listened to their fans. Oh, that's what I need to do. Now I remember. Where was that portal surface? Hmm. Can 
Let's see that from there. I can. There we go. And then... I'm going to go across here, I believe. But uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some some uh, so 952 machines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys, faster than any science guy I got. Of course. Now I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, if you turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The others trip by a circuit breaker that causes an entire part of the facility's power grid to blow up. So, remember, the one in here is good. All others, bad. Remember, one in here is good. All others are back. Bad. Back. Back. Bad. I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. What did I forget? Apple surface there. That's what I forget. Now turn the power back on. That's it. Yeah. About time, though, to be fair. They could have, like... Uh, Half-Life could have been so much better than it actually was, kind of thing. If that makes sense. They could have done so much more with it. It's such a shame that they kind of, like, let it... I, I wouldn't say dwindle, because, I mean, it's, it's still a very popular franchise, but it could have been so much more if Valve had have, um, sort of done more with it. Alright. So yeah, as with like the other stuff, we're not really going to spend too much time. Um, it's not a blind playthrough, it is just a playthrough. So um, yeah, we're just going to go through it. If we get it done tonight, we get it done tonight. I honestly can't remember how sort of long uh, it is. Oh, that was loud. Just to test your uh, reflexes, you know. That was loud. Short sleep. I think um, Virgil's like trying too hard though to make it like seem like it's um, still the same sort of time. I think he tries too hard in this opening sequence. I really need to like look at um, Half Life Alex. Look into it more because I don't think I'm ever going to get around to playing it. So, yes, Bravo Volta, the hold on, fifth testing track. Yes, fifth. You'll need a portal device to get through. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling device. I, uh, look, it's in your hands right now. Uh, the scientists did their job. You'll do fine. All right, so. And now we get into the music that everybody knows and loves. And uh, I think we do this, don't we? If I remember. Right there as well. We also get lots of nice auto saves on this. So we need to go back, get some bounce jar, and then we can bounce over to there, don't we? Yes, that's right. Where do I need to put the cube? Do I take the cube with me? I think. 
I'm sure there's a portable surface over there. So, that's all good. You've only watched the one playthrough of it, Mika? Well, still one more than I've watched. And then we do this. We save, we portal there. And we go through the portal here. is lead line according to my 1950s notes here in my 1950s filing cabinet says it's harmful to humans uh, i mean not harmful to humans you'll be okay perfectly fine nothing to worry about oh and uh, don't worry about the boxes we got a ton back stocked ready for this kind of thing thrown at the wall destroyed rinse and repeat useless little things made them in an hour Alright, so it's this one, isn't it? We do... Oh, hold on. No, we swap the cubes, that's right. We swap the cubes. And then... Don't I do something like this? Oh. How did that... Wait, what? Why did that insta-fizzle? Is, it? is this a thing I can do? Hold on. Can I squash the cube here? Cause that to respawn. Why did why does that do that though? Huh. I don't know why that like fizzled the first time around. Unless I caught like the edge of like the fizzler frame or something. You really are a merit to science or something like that. Just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. You played it all in one sitting. That's awesome. I really wish I could have VR. I contemplated getting PlayStation VR, but I just I don't know. I don't know. Now see, this test uses the new Aperture Science Innovators Propulsion Gel. It allows you to... No, wait, hold on. This record says they didn't make that until the 70s. Never you mind that. Just uh, solve science. Uh, Alright, so we need the gel. Oh, I had a lot of trouble with this, I think, first playthrough. Um, how do I get up there again? I can't remember what I need the cube for. Oh, hold on. I can then do this. That's right. That's right. Do that. We do that. Do that. Now we can take the cube through. Can I see that ball surface over there? I can. But I can't fire. I had a portal on there before. 
I can't get one on there now, which is a shame. This is right, but hey, I can get up here like this. Cause then I need to fling out of here. Took you two weeks. All right, I should have left the cube over there. So let's go and do that right now. Keep here. Run over here. Then we can go over to here and place. Maybe. Pull there. I can't see that portal from there. There we go. So then there's that. Then we go back over here. We just need a tiny bit of orange gel to cover up this bit here. Let me take our cube. Jump over here. And we can go back up to the top. Now, actually, I need to bring the cube over here with me. I'm jumping the gun. And then we do a bouncy, bouncy thingy, thingy through here. And that's why I save. I think this was the bit I got a little bit frustrated with on this uh, puzzle before. Second time, Lucky. There we go. I didn't need to bring the cube with me there, so. Oh, hold up a second, Mel. I don't think you're that stupid that you're going to fall for this anymore. I'll be blunt now. I'm not Cave Johnson. Shock this horror. This is the 1950s. Everyone you knew and loved is dead. And now you're stuck here in after science, done with the trash. Like me. After everyone left because of that boat. Which I'm sure you already knew, but, eh, uh, whatever. However, I can get us out of here. If you're willing to let a voice in the sky who just told you he was lying the entire time he was talking to you control nearly every movement you make. Yeah, what's is the worst that, okay? that can happen? What's the worst that could happen? I, I, I'll just take your silence as a yes. Oh, right. You can't answer me. Uh, uh, just do what I say and you'll be fine. Okay? Do what I say and what I do and do... Do what I say and say what I do and everything will be fine. I'm sure. And then... Oh wait, hold on. Don't I need to do... I think I know what I want to do here. Uh, maybe not. There's nowhere there to respawn that cube, is there? Oh no, there is. Of course there is. Okay, we do that and that, and now we do, we go over here first, and then we can bring the cube over second, 
I don't even think I need to do the bouncing there, but it doesn't hurt. Through here. And we are done. You want a snark? What the hell is that under there? Something is... I think it's my cable. <laughs> it's like there was a fly or something under my desk, like on my knee, which is quite annoying. Have you got like some like super mega badass computer then I take it megist that you can run all these stuff on like maximum settings So about before you can get why I said all that right oh, yeah. I would rather not have my one chance of escape have a panic attack and die on me after years of being suspended in a faulty relaxation vault which could be a real possibility, because as my records show, the old death could cause heart attacks after small... You know, hallucinations? Jeez. And you were caught full of them. So, let's all just take a breath and start over. My name's Virgil. I'm a core from up in the Enrichment Center. And before you even think of asking, yes, there is a building above you. And yes, I came from it. I'm not crazy. Don't be too alarmed, though. A lot's changed since you got put on ice. So he's got put on ice, did he just say? I guess he did. Man, I'm such a better player. Than when I first started playing these games. Does that gel pump? Ah, gel pump's broken. Okay. That makes sense. So. Why is there another portal surface I can leverage here? Would be that one. Is that really the way you're meant to do that? I want to say not, but... I kind of feel like I messed something up here. Because don't I need to... I pretty pressed the button. But... Alright. Just, just ignore me. Just... Ignore me, it's fine. I'm being dumb. Nothing new. Classic knock. Good job, Mel. See that pipe there? That the repulsion gel's leaking on? That'll take you to the pumping station. Jump down and walk on it. Oh, and try not to fall off. That goo down there is corrosive. <laughs> it doesn't like human skin. Yeah, it had crossed my mind, I guess. It had. It had. 
honestly. Uh, no, that's not right. I need to go this way. Oh, it's this puzzle. Now, according to my records of this room, there should be a turret shooting range at the far side of the room. If you can get through there, you should be able to get to the fourth testing track. That'll take you up to where I am. I sure want to be over there. Who doesn't want to be there? I, I almost made that. That would have been awesome. Totally unintended, but awesome nonetheless. Um, then I want to fling off that, don't I? But I need to get another portal. Let's pull somewhere else first so I can get a better shot at doing that. I could just do this. There we go. Excellent. Good. That gel should help you get past those turrets. Right, and then we we do this, we do this, we save because we might die. And Bob's your uncle. Again, weird weird stuff going on there. Turrets are off. Fantastic. Through the door we go. Turn on some more gel. A straight shot to the next testing track. Go to that door down at the very end. You know, the one with the giant wheel on it. Can I not go somewhere else? I think I probably go down there afterwards, don't I? You open this door for me. Let's see what we can do. There's a longer route through a repulsion gel pumping station. Guess you're going to have to go that way. Yes, thank you. You can get through this pumping station and prepare yourself to get out of Bravo Volta into the Lima Whiskey testing track. That should bring you closer to me and to your own escape from this facility. All right, I know what you're thinking. What on? The local zoo made an offer we couldn't refuse, so you may encounter several grizzly bears and or lions in this next test. Alright, so, I think I remember this. Isn't this the area where you kind of go into that, like, control room and you have the turrets shooting at you? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm thinking of something else. There isn't. I want my money back. I feel cheated. How dare they do that to me? Don't they know who I am? Alright, so, exit over here. Alright, look, I'm sorry for what I said back there. We're in this together. You're my ticket out We're of the junkyard down there. We're in this together. To the world. Together, together. To I don't know where that's going. 
I don't even know that's a song. I don't think it's a song, so. Alright, must try harder. Must try harder. I'll remember that for next time. Alright. Um, I kind of have a bit of bad news. I yeah, yeah, I know. You don't want to hear any more bad news after the security override. I couldn't do. Uh, my records of this sphere are out of date, to say the least. There should be an exit after the third section of this test. However, I don't know if getting there will be that easy. You got it in you, though. You're my Olympian. Who might not have a beating heart anymore. And what's with the uh, my weird lion particles? Oh, is there no way do? Uh... Okay, that's not what I do. Maybe I should try the cube. <laughs> that I'd, like, just completely and utterly overlooked. That would make more sense. Through what's he there? And then we need to get across to there, which will be pretty easy by doing this. They're my best friends, Mika. They're my best friends. And are you aware from here? Down. For some reason, I thought his arrows were pointing up. I know, I know. I'm stupid. second I'm, I'm getting some strange voice coming through i'll patch it through scanning lima whiskey 70 percent complete no vital signs detected initiating flooding procedure that's coming up from new app what's a my scans are going nuts something's happening the sphere's unstable get out of here run the sphere's unstable. Uh, I don't need, don't need... That's it. Just got to remember what to do here. Got to here first. And then we bring the cube back out to here, don't we? That's right. Cube back out to here. I had to get the cube in there. I didn't get the cube out. Um, oh, there's a button there. I didn't see that button. For some unknown reason. We're going over there and pressing that button, shall we? And let's try doing that again. 
Hey, family! What's going on? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Hope you are doing well this Tuesday for you now. Now we should be able to exit stage left. Uh, just like that. Cool. Another one bites the dust. Good to hear. Good to hear, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, decapitation. So what I also love about this, I love the fact that there's like a, I didn't mention it before, but I love the way that there's a um, paperclip attached to the end of this portal gun. Kind of says it all, doesn't it? This place was kind of like, um, I'll tell you, I got the achievement for uh, taking the stairs. Kind of shows how like, put together this um, how put together and dodgy this whole portal gun is. It's probably like a very early prototype I would say, if I had to guess. Should we go back down? Is that what you want to do? <laughs> and yeah, we jump over here. That's it. Mind your head on the falling rocks. Convenient. Very convenient. You gotta get out of there. The room's filling with smoke. Good. At least you won't suffocate in this room. But you still need to find a way to get to the Trinity. Whoa! No, don't do that. You won't bring the place down in your head. So we can't create in this bit, Megist? Somewhere here. Okay. Let's try and find the calculator. The calculator. Don't know why I've got the gladiator song in my head. Do you feel the power of the calculator? <laughs> uh, let's put the fire out first, maybe, and then... Uh, I forgot how to put the fire out. Can I go back? There it is. I, I can't believe that worked. Oh, oh, right. Get going before something else happens. I don't think I can get into there, can I? So. Not in there. And we can check over here. Actually, we can't go through there, so it's not in there. Can we get on top of like the. Can we get in the rafters, maybe? Nope. Well, it's not in there. Wow. If you'd been there a few seconds earlier, you'd have been incinerated. Thank the maker you were, though. <sighs> I need the muscle. It's in a room with a desk on somewhere. There's one in the junkyard, Mika. What's that thing meant to be? It kind of reminds me of like a road sweeper. All 
All right. Nothing yet. Why is there like oh, the repulsion gel? I was like, why is there a biohazard sign in Aperture Science? But okay. guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, when the pump station blew, the floodgates opened up wide. Toxic goose rising fast. The sensors maxed out ages ago. Warning lights woo, going crazy all around. This just got a lot more serious. Um. Yeah, that's what I plan on doing. Don't need panic. Do I? Wait, no, 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 no. Surely. Do I have? Do I stand the boxes? Was that a thing? I don't remember that being a thing. Stack. Huh. Okay, well. Onwards and upwards. Quality control center, 95D. Only a bit further and you'll be at the hatch up to me. Hurry. I'll try to slow the goo down a bit. Alright, nothing there. I think I used the cube to climb in the vents here. Oh, that's right. I need to get some repulsion gel here. I always hated this bit when I first played through because I kind of also gels coming through the walls. Um, no, I was just responding to your comment about the junkyard, Mika. That was all. Great, another block corridor. Oh, sorry. Fumbling was for you. <laughs> oh, man. I am so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. I just saw the red writing and I just glanced out the corner of my eye and just instantly thought it was uh, Mika. I apologize. Sorry, guys. I wonder if I need the cube on the other side here. I don't think I do. <laughs> You're Aaron. <laughs> if you want to be, you know, that's fine. Fine by me. Anybody can be anybody. You can be who you want to be. You can be anything that you want to be. That's not the right song. It is, but it isn't. What is that song? I know it's from Bugsy Malone. I can't think of what the lyrics go now. It's a long time since I did anything. Uh, uh, you can, but I would probably advise against it. <laughs> I don't think I want to bring the cube through. The doors are locked. Uh, back in the day, the wiring was a bit strange sometimes. Try turning some machinery on. See if that also unlocks the doors. I think it came down here. Don't think I originally came through here. Um, just out of curiosity, what color is the calculator? Just so I know, sort of, what sort of color is here? Okay. So that must be given stream delay. That must be. Upstairs, I guess. Don't answer the question. Don't need to answer the question about the calculator. You saw it, you think. Oh, my 
maybe it wasn't. Well, you know, there is always that. Let's, let's be honest. It either was or it wasn't. I think wow. we're Th that actually worked. quite safe in that uh, knowledge. I don't think it looks like there is one there. Try on second floor. Water again or something. Okay. Calculator. Here, calculator. Come to Noki. I don't think there's one here. Alright, so I need to get that onto there, so surely I've got to go over here and up the stairs, right? Ah, let's try that. That could be a good idea. I can't jump the railing, so I've got to go back down. I'm going to say that this calculator quest was um, unsuccessful. This is one hiding under the stairs. Which there isn't. Okay. So. All right, on once we go. No calculator in sight yet. I'm guessing, if anywhere, surely the, uh, it's going to be in the big office area when you first meet Virgil. That would make kind of sense. Wow, this place is massive. Whoever built this place must be a great architect. Up high at the back side of this room is a control panel. It controls the hatch. Try to get there. Not the hatch. The hatch brings back bad memories. Of a certain TV show. say bad memories. The memories weren't that bad. I quite like that TV show. I 
I still don't have. Excuse me a minute. Nope, it's gone. I was going to sneeze. Alright, so then I do. I think I do. Speed gel. And what am I going to bounce out of exactly? Isn't there a... I could run out here and do a bounce up there, but I'm pretty sure that's not what I meant to do. I could do this though. get absolutely nowhere. Um, I don't remember where I meant to go here. Get to there. Do I just simply... No. have a look see over here back up here all right so I'm wondering if if I do this them. Yeah, I know I can airboat them. But what would I do with the airboat? Oh, well, that's not the answer. Ah. Uh, I have forgotten what I need to do. Does it involve this one? No, because we hit our head again. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. Ah, probably you're a genius. My records show that at least two people were needed to activate the bolt hatch. You're one person. There's a bit of a problem there. What's the problem? There ain't no problem. Talking about full. <laughs> I wonder if this will push me off when I get. I wonder if this will push me off when it comes down. 
That'll be interesting. Ah, great. You're smarter than I thought. Thanks. Not a genius like me, but still. Uh, take the elevator up to me. I'm in the junkyard just outside the hatch. It's finally time for me to repay my end of the deal. He's in the junkyard. I'm pretty sure that's not how you're meant to get in there, but... Yeah, it worked. <laughs> you're a short walk to the new enrichment center from here. We'll meet up shortly. And, good news, we're not going to have to worry about the goo eating us alive. I'll seal up the hatch, and we don't have to worry about that anymore. That's definitely a plus. Oh, definitely. All right, we have made it to new aperture. New destroyed aperture, at least. Great, you're here. I can finally get out of this technological nightmare. If you can get into the offices, I'm saved. You just might have to get around a few security fences, though. Try to keep the giant human-eating rats out. The giant human-eating rats. And who might they be, I wonder? So there was one in the junkyard somewhere. The only thing I can think about with like a giant human eating rat would be like a human rat, as in a human rat man. But up in the offices, all right. Well, this area does give me the creeps, though. Uh, really? Really? Is this not, like, scripted pushed? Am I, I'm overthinking this. <laughs> I'm overthinking this. <laughs> Massively. Holy jeez. Let's try that again. And then we still fell. In true not fashion. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Hey, the floor's getting quite cold here. All right, we're on calculator hunt again. Hey, hey, uh, over here! I'm right over here. Hey, Mel, nice to finally see you. It's kind of dark here, though. You should turn the power on so we can get the lights working. There's some more offices on the other side of the double doors. Check there. Turn the power on first, then pick me up. I've to, um, I'm not impressed that... Um, I'm not impressed about the whole... Um, um, vending machine, man. After seeing like what we had in, uh, in Black Mesa... I want some more detailed products in that vending machine, man. Lights, check. Camera, check. Action. 
action? Hopefully not. Detecting power surge at sub-basement station 26. Threat level moderate. Activating security protocols. Uh, so much for no action. Come back and pick me up. Kind of reminds me a bit of a uh, segment in Infra. Let's go and uh, look up here. I think we actually come up here though and we plug Virgil over into there, don't we? But I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to have this... Uh, look for this calculator first before we carry on. Hey. I do know that this is an Easter egg. an Easter egg in regards to Anna. Hey, calculator. Two plus two equals ten. What? I hate to say it, but somebody's maths is wrong. <laughs> Seriously wrong. True in base four. Well, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. Good. That floor was getting very cold. My motherboard was almost going critical. All right. I know what you're thinking. Hey, Mr. Virgil, core guy. How were you able to control everything? Ah, much better. Good to be back on track again. Let me go back here and uh, get your elevator so we can get out of here. Yes. Yeah, please do. Ah, uh, okay. I don't this think I... Th that wasn't me, I think. I don't think I um, paid a lot of attention to the voice lines during like the the bottle the, the boss fight. You ever saw, seen that one, Space Kim? No, me neither. I didn't know about it until everybody was telling me tonight. So, um, it's always good to find stuff you didn't know was there. But yeah, I knew that that room of all the coffee cups and Easter is a reference and a nod to Anna, one of the developers. She likes her coffee. It's not too far away. These things can take for ever sometimes and there's no magazines to read so annoying welcome to my testing track it's not the best looking thing in the world but fully wi-fi capable Let's see if i can just get this door open and get us out of here okay sorry oh I it's this one with this testing track all advertised ai's have been programmed to not help with solving the tests I can, however, test to see if everything still works. It's been a while since I fell off that management rail and plummeted down into that pit, so... Maybe some stuff broke in my absence? Checking the funnel? Work 
Gank. Fizzler. Anything over. And Toxic Goo Drain and Fight. Eaten away by Toxic Corrosive Goo. Oh, lovely. Ah, uh, that's not important. You can do this test just fine. I, I hope. Alright, so we get this one out of here like that. And then we have that second cube back. So, I don't know what to do here. I gotta remember. Well, we don't want that in there anymore, so we can spawn that cube back over here. Actually, I've got Snake Bird and Snake Bird Primer. Actually, um, Space Kitten. I've got them on my in my library. I've not got around to playing them yet, though. So, think about what I'm doing here. That's why you create saves. I've got so many puzzle games that I need to play. Um, like seriously, like a ridiculous amount of puzzle games to play. Oh, hold on. Why don't I do this? Why is it so hard? Just put a portal underneath a cube. This ant line's a bit. I don't get the need for the ant line. I love the way like the minute you do that it gives you a, a minute you get both the cubes over to here it gives you like that other surface. Not that I need it because we can just do that. But um Panther Primer to get a good understanding of the mechanics before I do the actual difficult puzzles. Wasn't Primer though after Snakebird? Isn't that the second one? Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing is a very good question. Let's try doing this instead. And then we're going to... That's right, we do this. This. Swap it to here. Swap it to 
there. And swap it to there. No primer after there's more of a casual puzzle experience since a lot of snake birds levels are quite hard. Okay. You wasn't a big fan of the stars and talus principle. My biggest like gripe with Road to Kahina um, was just the sheer amount of um, reading and stuff. There was just far too many or far too many um, excuse me in my opinion there was far too many um, far too much consoles and reading to be done in that game how did, what I'm sorry how, how did that work exactly Bridge, but I want it in the other old. I uh, need it in the other orientation. So there, Fumbly. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it as always. Good to see you. Ah, that's possibly it. Oh, I think I may have missed a few steps here. Alright, though. We're good. We're good. Yeah, still good. And then we're gonna go over here. Put that one, that one there. Hopefully. That will be enough gel on the bridge. I'm sure you can get down there, can't you? There's something... I think, yeah, there's an easter egg that you can get down there. Just kind of takes you back, I think. Yeah, but you can get down there. So that's fine to get started. General and general sigils in Talos. Yes, I finally broke into that thing, sir. Some of the puzzles were really difficult, on. though, in but Talos. Another thing down there. Okay. So I can't do a lot about that at the moment. It's fine. I should probably leave that on there so I can go through there. Port Story Mount Jumper is really cool. I have to say, I quite like when um, you kind of. I, I quite like watching category extensions on speedruns a lot of the time because of that sort of 
similar kind of idea that you just you, you throw in like a, something a little bit different and it gives such a different experience to the game Right, so that's going to respawn that, so we probably don't want to do that right now. Um, oh, that's right, I remember now. And then we're going to want to do I think we do that. At least we would do that if that was aligned properly. Yeah, I, I remember originally playing this a few times and getting rather stuck. I mean, I've not done this right now, to be fair. Um... I need the laser through there, so I need that portal with a laser up there so I can walk through. So let's... Um, I'm sure, if I remember rightly... It has something to do with this. That's it. That's it. Yeah, no, I, I totally get what you're saying. I remember when I first played this, I think I must have got, like, gone around this like, so many times. Like a ridiculous amount of times. Okay, so now I don't remember what we do here. That turns off that, so... I can't remember what the other cube was for. Um, that to me didn't look like it got turned off, which is why I was confused. That's now done that, so now that's done that, we can go through here, through here, I think we're probably going to want the other cube as well, aren't we? Yes, we are, so I'm going to need to go back first, get the cube. Close, I didn't think I was going to get that then. Mm, it seems that thing is using some biological tracking to find out where you are. You can do half life without touching the floor. Process. I'll need a little bit more time without to touching the floor. System. You think some of the puzzles are lacking in this?
I was blown away the first time I watched the 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 Talos speed run. I think we'll be in the clear for a little bit, but somehow that was I can't get something. Final target, or even learn what it is. Whatever it is, it's enough to cause this thing to blow up toxic goo pump control down in the salt mines. If you haven't seen the um, Talos speed run, I, I advise the checking it out. Uh, it's completely locked me out. Firewall, huh? Firewall. That just gave me an idea. I I'm going to reroute some of the water to the AE servers. That should shut the firewall down. Target one organic, one mechanical, reacquired for termination. Security measures at 75%. Alert status, red. Toxins from testing track, Lima, Whiskey. Contact with Richmond Center, sub-basement, level 10. Flooding procedures commencing. I suppose I gotta grab the cube now. This chamber kind of seems like unnecessarily large. I don't know why it's so big. Excellent. That, that, and that. Uh, actually, no, I think we walk across. Do we walk across? Um, no, we don't walk across, do we? It's far too steep to be walking across there. I need to fling the cube up at some point. I mean, I'm guessing I fling myself up as well, right? It would make sense. Where are I getting enough height for that from, though? I don't think I've watched a Half-Life one. I've seen Portal 1 and Portal 2 many times. Oh, yeah, that's what we do. I don't know what to do now. I need the cube over here, though. And I did that too early. Alright, so now I've done that. I do that through here. Break that to put that back there. that and that but then how do we get the other cube how do we get the other cube I get the other cube by doing this doing this walking across to here using this to jump across to here and then we put the blue portal on there to walk through there like that. Excellent. Right, Cube can make Cube can make up his mind whether or not it wanted to uh, be there or not. Alert. 
Why you say that, Megist? Um, you say that. Um, we've got the Celeste mod obviously coming up at some point. Similar sort of thing. It's going to be quite a difficult mod to kind of play, I think, really, because um, of, like, the actual, um, like, Celeste mechanics that you need to actually play the game or, or play through it. So I'm quite, I'm quite intrigued as to how it's all going to work and how it's all going to come together. Which will definitely be very interesting. There's gold berries in it as well. Jeez. That's cool. I never noticed that detail before. The elevator going over there, look. That's quite cool. Okay, so... I need to do... Oh, hold on. I'm overcomplicating this. So first, I need to get up to there, right? So we'll do this, this. And this. Then I think we pull that through, push that off, and change portal to here. Right. Oh, we need to wait for it to go far enough across, though, first. So, we do that. Then we do that and that. And there you go. I'm not sure for how. I've played a few of Pollux's maps. I'm not sure I've played one of his... Um, I'm not sure I've played one from Pollux ever that's inspired like, by the Talos Principle. Don't expect this to get any easier now. Keep going. There's an easy test track up ahead. Maybe you can gain some ground on it. I quite like all this like switching of uh, testing tracks and things that they did behind the scenes, which is pretty cool. The only uh, the the only like Talos maps I've played in Portal are the ones that Hugo makes, which are really really good. And then there was a map maker who went by the name of um, Flooper, and he made a, a series. I think both co-op and single player. So you can handle a lot of harder tests. This is a brand new introduction track designed for new test subjects. You should do this really quickly. I've got a plan. Mel, over here. Um, change of plans. I found a panel that I can move out of the way. Portal down to that catwalk in the distance. I'll tell you more there. So, I was thinking, if this computer has scanners searching for biological substances, maybe there can be some interference? You know, with things like plants? There's an overgrown testing track across the facility that hasn't been converted yet. 
If we can get there, I think we can use it. I feel quite bad about like when people ask me, "Oh, have you played this map? Have you I played that map?" Because, in all honesty, I I play that many maps that um, I honestly don't remember maps by names a lot of the time. So. When somebody says to me, oh, have you played this map, or have you played that map, I'm like, maybe? It hasn't been turned on in decades. Maybe that's why it's after us, and and whatever that laugh threat is. Maybe it thinks we killed the scientists. Maybe we did kill the scientists. <laughs> Point proven right there. I finally got access to some schematics of this place. I can guide you to that overgrown testing track now to cover our tracks. Head through the corridor to the left. Should take you through the work in progress test chambers. What do they come back here for? Let's take the cube with us. Best chapter and soundtrack. Well, well. Always well prepared. I guess you already knew that somehow that cube would come in handy. Have you done this before? Well, you know. I don't like to brag. But yeah. Great. Through there is a crappy backstop chamber GLaDOS was designing before her demise. Never finished, but it should at least be working. It was never finished. You touched a bullet on that one. I told you to be careful. Next time might not be so forgiving. I don't really think I had much of an option there, if I'm if I'm completely honest. But hi ho. Oh, isn't this the one where you have to solve it like three times? Yeah, isn't that this one? I didn't like that cube. Had a scuff on it. Do you know what? I'm sure lots of people would agree with you. They are some deviously, deviously clever map makers. I need to get the other one back, right? Yeah. We're not done just yet. Oh, field sticks. Actually, maybe I'll just do... No, I can't do that. Well, I could pull it back. 
you know what? I think I've massively overcomplicated this. Shock, I know. I don't know why I reversed the funnel with that cube on it. Let's not talk about Fleetings 3. <laughs> Let's not talk about that one. Crazy just doesn't cut it. Alright, we're going to do this the hard way. Can I take the cube with me through the door? Uh, no. What on earth would I want to do that for? I don't know why I thought I had to put the regular cube on the... Uh, reverse funnel. Well, you live for a nice surprise. There are tubes on the side you can use to get towards the overall testing track. Test chambers one to two hundred. No? Oh, vent. Hi, vent. This is the puzzle, isn't it? You have to solve this one three times. is still under construction. Generally, they need to be tested at least three times before they're finalized. Some people just can't count further than that, I guess. All right, so. Then you jump across. That's one. The winter test initiative is really good. I really like that. All, especially with all the custom fizzlers and all the little details and things. What I can do. How about I fire up the lasers? Deep pit. How about a hard light bridge? I'm dead. I'm dead. That laser was like insta kill. What? <laughs> yeah. Ironic that you have to solve the chamber three times in a Valve game. Although I know Valve didn't directly make it, but shots fired from Megist. There we go. I'm sure that has gone there. Maybe not. Maybe that's the next bit. Kind of, it, is it not contradictory though? It, it kind of like Virgil says about the, um, you have to solve the same, it's basically got to save, save the test, solve the test, sorry, three times. But then you, 
it's three different tests, so isn't that kind of like against what he kind of says? I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm overthinking it. I wouldn't be surprised. Shouldn't that be coming down now? I guess not. Alright. No biggie. That was the wrong pole. Try that one. Much better. Organic threat escaping new test chamber. Escape contingency not in place. All right, good. Looks like it doesn't know where the elevator is. You're gonna do your own master quest, completing every Pollux and Jose Pez map. Jeez, good luck, my man. Good luck. Same time period when Aegis was first installed. Maybe we can get some information from there. Maybe we can get some information from there. Maybe. Or maybe not. So, I was right. When a test subject destroyed her, this whole place fell into disrepair. I don't exactly know if everything is working properly anymore, but we don't have a choice. Ember. Ember. On top Two maps left? Wow. GG. Huh? It worked? It's blind here. Oh no, no, no. See, so no, no. look There's for my gravestone. <laughs> yeah. Hold on for emergency brakes. Just climb on out of here and let's get moving. Whoa, that was close. You could have been in there. Oh, wait, you just were. I could have been in there. Like, totally. Ooh, these are the old offices I was talking about before. The humans left these behind when she gassed them with neurotoxin. Because this is an abandoned track, it's no longer connected to the rest of the computer systems. Aegis shouldn't be able to lock us out I've here. Been these computers should contain a lot of useful information for us. Time to start hacking into these systems. Hack away. Passwords. Um, What's going on, Aaron? Welcome along to stream. Hope you're well. Admin. Hope you are well. Oh, come on. Let me in. Did you just override the admin controls? I did, yes. Uh, anyway, I, I think there's some info here about Aegis. I'll keep working as long as you keep going. So, uh... Get back to the testing track and, and get started. Oh, I should also let you All right. know. I won't be able to move around much. Match materials are kind of non-existent here. Unless I want to fall That's off fine. one and end up back in the junkyard. You won't be seeing much of me right now. All right. There is a lot of information stored in these computers. It'll take me some time to sort through these. So, I don't know what to do here. According to the systems, the toxic goo is still rising. You should continue to move through the tests and upwards. Keep your feet dry. There's a way into there. Isn't there a way into there? I think there might be. Uh, I need to remember what to do here. There's a. Uh, need to hit the button. That's right. I 
That's not particularly helpful though, is it? Let's be honest. This might be a bit more helpful. I can't reach that. Which is fine. The music is off. No, the music's not off, Aaron. He's definitely not off. Can't hit anything from up there, can I? Uh, I can't remember what to do. Oh, that might. There's no way to reverse the funnel in this, is there? Um. <laughs> oh man, I... That's what we do. I need that to be up there, don't I? Don't know how I get. I didn't get across there, though, do I? I don't know what to do. Is 
Is that right? Is that right? That seems weird. Make the music louder. I'll be brutally honest. I'm probably going to be calling it very, very soon. And we're going to pick this up again tomorrow. Okay, so now I can do this. That's right. That's there. That's there. Now I can go back to here. Do that, do that. We are, once again, home and dry. What I will do though, is I will turn up the audio now I just crashed the game what hello oh there we are Whew. is that louder for you guys is that better I sorted through some of the stuff. So many cat pictures. But I also got some more serious information. Aegis thinks we killed the scientists. So it's activating some sort of kill order. It's going to flood the enrichment center, probably with all that goo, to eliminate any and all threats. That means you, that means me, and that means whatever that last thing is. So I suggest we keep moving. Yeah, music is on. I mean, I can turn it up a bit, but... frames can we get a memo to my frames all right so now I can bring the cube over to here keep hold of the cube though, that would be much more beneficial. There we go. No, it puts us on a bit of pain, just that last one that um, is really probably the one I've struggled on the most. Everything's been everything's been alright actually Aaron tonight, to be fair. Really struggled on anything, but I'm just getting to that sort of time of the day I think now where 
I'm just starting to get a bit tired. Oh, I'm just gonna remember what to do here. Die. Excellent, did save. Didn't save because I'm a moron. Yeah, some really nice projected stuff in this. Did I hit the cube? I must have done. Huh. Didn't expect that. so high with the portal. Though we do need to keep in the right line though. Come on, we can go for this portal surface. Come on. Jeez, 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 jeez. Alright, so then we do that. I need to do that, I think. Let me do that. No? Oh, that's right, we do. We don't do that, we do. That, that, and not die, please. That. I think that's right. Should give me enough to jump up to here. Wow. That was a weird reflection. I'm a master of patience. I am definitely a master of patience. All right, guys, I am going to leave it there for today. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow night, and we will finish off Portal Stories. Mel, um, we'll definitely get it wrapped up tomorrow night. I'm pretty confident about that. But thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I appreciate your support, as always. Until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.